Good day, everyone. So it's February the 6th, and I just thought I'd do a little video and show what I'd been up to and where I'm going. I've been ordering the grow bags of all different sizes. These are the 30 gallons that I'm going to put my big trees in. And that's the way the weather is looking right now here in the greenhouse. And if you look outside, you can see we've got already had gust over 20 miles an hour. And so I'm pretty much working in, in the greenhouse this morning. I started repotting. Uh, these that I had cut off three and a half weeks ago and you can three and a half weeks if they had been potted sooner the new growth would have been bigger but I think they're looking pretty good myself and I've gone through and the top shelf here and started cleaning leaves out again so I make sure all of them are getting watered well and a lot of times it doesn't take much whenever the leaves start piling up over the soil and I can miss watering some real good a, a day or two and boy I can sure see it fast in here but still got this tray I cleaned them off but this is another tray of some that I'm fixing to pot up once I do the video. Beetle leaf is coming along real well. The uh, Yava mate is just flowering to beat the band, but I don't know what it takes to pollinate it. I haven't Last year was the first year that I had it flower. No, didn't see any kind of fruit or anything. And this is the Rufat H that I originally got from Hector. And it had been all the way back there by the heater in the back and you couldn't hardly see it in amongst everything else. And because it had shed all of its leaves but now it's coming back very well and this is the first clone I had taken off Sit of it down, girl, and, talk to me. and I have no rights to the music mind. other than I just like it and I like to listen to my music keep on telling me and that was is okay. in the Put the shelf up there. I put one of the Amazon Echoes up there for my speaker. And it does pretty well out here when I'm working. I had gotten uh, the roof at H that I had saved from last year in the gallon pots, put in three gallon and five gallon tubs. And I'm trying some here in the grow bags. And I planned on keeping them for some time, especially the grow bags. And I, this is the pink vein in here that's in the gallon pots that I had from last year. So the plants themselves are two years old or so. And uh, as I can work through, if I still have, they're still $35 right now until I put them in another pot and then I'll just see. And, uh, those would be some that I'll be taking more cuttings off of them whenever I get done with those up there in the four inch pots. But these big ones like this is the one. Those are 52 quart, as best I can tell, pots. And so I got the 30 gallon grow bags and I'm going to do some cutting on them where I can handle them and get the 30 gallon grow bags in there. need to get in here sometime and pick out all the leaves that have fell and hung up on them and, and that's going to be the first one right there that will work on because I still haven't been able to get the color right on it 
with all the water and all that it's coming out got some pretty good color on the top up there those are the roof fats over there straight up clones that I had originally got and in the gallon pot so it was pink vein to my right and roof fat to my left the ones back over here would be the bumblebees and the board right there that would it's a little over three foot high right in here and so that'll tell you that the plants there are around five foot We've got to work on more ginger. I've got the pot stack over there full of ginger. Haven't planted any new galanga this year. Have a good many turmeric, and I've still got 12 pots of turmeric, but have got to be taken apart. And that's more of the ginger there that I was trying in some grow bags. And I've already got two blocks of the coconut peat moss in my tub over there for it to get rained on and fluff up. And then the next good day, the outside for outside work, I'm going to make some more of the topsoil that I used the peat moss and the coconut peat and the uh, perlite for the top of the planters. This is what I've been spending about a week on now. And I was pretty much ready to try to put the cover on today until the wind got picked up. I'd moved the lemongrass over there where it had rooted just enough into the, the through the landscape fabric that it wasn't blowing over, but with the winds today now it's blowing over. Moringa over here has got new growth coming on it and whatever. It's just, it's not so far under here that it won't get a little bit of frost on it. So a little bit of new growth between not getting watered as good as it ought to up under here and uh, having a little frost or a little cold on it every now and then keeps it bit back right now. So I hope it'll come back out whenever I move it out in a few months. This was all more turmeric that I had. And then on the other side of the greenhouse, there's some more. And that was all. That's what's been going on for me. And uh, still having a lot of trouble with my old hips. But a lady a while back had told me about trying to soak some green raisins in rum. And I haven't had any liquor in Lord knows how many years, but while I was in town yesterday, day before yesterday, I don't remember, I bought a fifth of, darn it, Captain, what is it, Captain Black, Captain Jack, Spiced Rum, but anyway, that was, I got my raisins soaking, and I'll try them directly, see if it does anything, this was the turmeric down in here that there's 12 pots down in there that have still got to be dug or either just some I've got some uh, vinyl grow bags back over here like the white ones and I may just have some of those that are I think there's some that's 25 gallons that I had started these like I normally do and I may I thought about some of those I may just put them in these vinyl bags this way Just knock the root ball out of the pot and stick it in and throw some more dirt in the pot over or over the bags. Still getting more of my, this is the elephant garlic, which is the only one I have left anymore, but 
I'm still getting some of it sprouting up, so I'm pleased with that too. Hope I can get some nice bulbs going again, back to the proper size. Everyone have a blessed day and stay safe.